numbers can also uh, be grouped in many many different types. These include uh, we can have uh, we have uh, integers, uh, we have uh, fractions, we have rational numbers, we have natural numbers. Uh, now I'm going to explain. Okay, please allow me to share my screen so that I can share the document I've prepared. This way can you open. hold a moment so that I can share with you the, uh, uh, this document? Okay, I'm uh, I'm on it now. Can you confirm if you are seeing it clearly? You are seeing nothing. Okay, I'm seeing nothing at all. I'm, I'm seeing, seeing nothing. Yes. I'm seeing nothing also. I'm seeing nothing. I'm seeing nothing. Okay, unfortunately, maybe my device is not supporting that. That okay. I will send it on other group. Let me continue. <laughs> uh, as I said, Hello. numbers can be grouped. Hello, Sorry. better better you send it now in the group so that people will follow. Yes, I, I have sent it maybe. Uh, it, it's, it's still uploading. Ah, all right, it's okay. It's fine. Yes. Okay. okay, can you please... Okay, can you please send it kind of a group or somewhere else so that we would see your slide whilst you're saying something? Okay, okay, okay. Let me check on WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. Okay, it's still uploading on WhatsApp group. Uh, in a few minutes, we'll see it. <laughs> You can you can proceed now. Okay. Uh, as I said earlier on, numbers can be grouped in many types, in various various types, which include natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, and, and fractions. There are also some uh, type of rational numbers uh, and irrational numbers. Uh, and imaginary numbers. Uh, let me start with uh, natural numbers. Uh, natural numbers, uh, these are uh, positive numbers or counting numbers. Uh, like, uh, for example, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. These are called natural numbers. And we have uh, type number two, all numbers. All numbers, uh, these are numbers uh, which range uh, from uh, from uh, these are basically the natural numbers. These are basically, basically natural numbers, but they also include zero. All numbers are presented by the symbol uh, W. Uh, we move on to uh, type number three, integers. Integers, uh, these are whole numbers also, uh, but they range from uh, from negative numbers uh, through zero and then to positive, to positive numbers until infinity. Uh, I think if you can look to the, on the document, you can see how I presented it. We have uh, fractions. Uh, fractions. That's another type of numbers. Type number four. Uh, fractions are, are numbers that are written in form of uh, uh, A over B, uh, where A belongs to, to all numbers and B belongs to natural numbers. But B can never be zero. On a fraction, the denominator or the number which is below which is uh, beneath another number cannot be zero. If it is zero, it's not a fraction. Then we go to another type of numbers, which is called uh, rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers which can rep which can be repre represented as uh, as fractions, uh, where both uh, the the upper number and the lower number uh, are integers. But uh, all fractions are rational numbers, but not all fractions are rational. All, all fractions are rational numbers, 
but not all rational numbers are fractions. We have another type of uh, numbers, uh, which is called uh, uh, irrational numbers. These are numbers which cannot be written as a fraction, meaning to say they cannot be written as A over B. We have another type of numbers, which are called uh, real numbers. These, we, these numbers can be represented as, uh, as decimals. Those are real numbers. Those numbers that can be represented as decimals. We go to another type of numbers, which is called imaginary numbers or complex numbers. Complex numbers are numbers which are not real and uh, complex numbers are numbers which are not real and uh, uh, for example, we have uh, the square root of negative one. Uh, it's uh, it's not uh, a real. It's not a real number. Uh, so it's called a complex number or an imaginary number. We have other types of numbers uh, like prime numbers and composite numbers. Uh, prime numbers are numbers which do not have any factor other than one. And composite numbers are numbers which are not prime numbers. Uh, the composite numbers they don't they, they do not include zero. Okay, let me move on to number systems. We have got uh, four types of number systems. Hello, are we together? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm moving on to types. I'm moving on to types of number systems. I'm moving on to types of number systems. We have got four types of number systems. We have got four types of number systems, which are namely uh, decimal number system, the binary number system, the octal number system, and the hexadecimal number system. Uh, the decimal number system, these are numbers uh, which are written in this chain. Uh, basically, uh, decimal numbers, uh, these are numbers we use in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, and this number system, uh, they use numbers from one from one up, from zero up to nine, only ten digits. They use only ten digits from zero up to nine. Uh, uh, in this system, uh, every position of a number shows a particular power of base ten. Or uh, can you confirm if you have downloaded the, the, the presentation document, please? Yes, I've downloaded it. Okay. I want you to check on uh, on the on the on the example I have given there. Yes. I want to check on the example I have given there. I have uh, used the example of of the number seven thousand eight hundred and thirteen. So, in a decimal number system, this number can be represented as seven times ten to the power three plus eight times ten to the power two plus one times ten to the power one plus 3 times 10 to the power 0. That's what I was, I was, I was trying to, to mean when I said uh, in decimal number system, every position shows a particular power of the base 10. Are we together? I want to move on to yes. every number 
uh, every number with a decimal point in decimal number system is expressed uh, in, in decreasing power of, uh, of base 10 after the decimal point. Uh, let's take, for instance, on that number we have given above 7813. Uh, let's suppose uh, we have put the comma between 1 and 3. Uh, the number becomes 7 times 10 to the power 2 plus 8 times 10 to the power 1 plus 1 times 10 to the power 0 plus 3 times 10 to the power negative 1. After the comma, the power decreases by 1. Okay, I'm moving on to next number, type of number system. Another type of number system is the binary number system. The binary number system is where numbers uh, have a base 2. The numbers in binary number system have base 2. Uh, and the figures described under this system are known as binary numbers. Uh, which are the combinations of, which are, which are the combination of ones and zeros. Uh, this position is a binary number to represent a zero power of base two. And uh, that position represents, uh, represented, uh, represents any power of the base two for example, if we say 2 to the power n, where n represents the last position, are we together? Yes. Okay, I'm moving on to the next type of number system. We have the octal number system. The octal number system uh, these are numbers which are written in base 10, in base 8, I think. Uh, it uses only 8 digits from 0 up to 7. And uh, in base, in octal number system, each position in an octal number system represents a zero power of base 8. And the last position repre represents any power of the base 8, for example, n 8 to the power n where n represents the last position i'm moving on to the next the type of number system the hexadecimal number system the hexadecimal number system uh numbers are written in base 16. in the Hexadecimal number system. In the hexadecimal number system, uh, we have uh, ten digits from zero up to nine, and six letters, which are A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we are saying in the hexadecimal number system. Uh, numbers are written in base 16 and we have 10 digits from 0 up to 9 plus letters A, B, C, D, E and F. The letters represent 10 up to 15. And in the hexadecimal number system, each position in a hexadecimal number system represents a zero power of base 16. And the last position represents n power of the base 16. For example, n to the power 16 to the power n, where n represents the last position. Are we together? Yes. Well, I'm moving on to 
how we can convert uh, uh, these uh, number system from each one to the other. Firstly, I would start, I would start with uh, converting a uh, decimal number this uh, numbers in any decimal number system to uh, numbers in binary number system uh, firstly when you are converting uh numbers are uh, from from decimal number system to binary number system firstly you divide you divide the decimal number with the base of the number system to be converted to for example uh as as we are converting a decimal to binary so the base in the binary system is 2 so if you were to change a number from uh, base 10 to base 2, we divide the number with base 2. And step number 2, the remainder obtained from the division will become the least significant digit of the new number. Uh, if, you, if you can look on the document there, I've put an example uh, of uh, uh, converting 243 base 10 to uh, a number in base 2. On step 2, we are saying, if we divide uh, uh, 243 by 2, we get uh, 121 remainder one that remainder one becomes uh the least significant digit of the new number okay let me go to step number three the quotient obtained from the division will become the next dividend and will be divided by base two again uh if you can look on the example there, we divided 243 by 2, and we get, we, we get uh, the quotient of 121 and the remainder of 1. The remainder there is the least significant digit of the new number, and we divide 121 by 2 again. Uh, we get 6 is the remainder 1. And uh, as we move on to step number four, the remainder obtained will become the second least uh, significant digit. And it will be added in the left of the previous obtained digit. Then we, re we, we repeat these steps uh, from three uh, and four. We repeat until the quotient obtained becomes zero. The remainders obtained after each iteration are added to the left of the existing digits. And then after all the iterations are over, the last obtained remainder will be termed as the most significant digit. So to get our binary number, which, re which represent, which means the same as 243 base 10, we read from the uh, from the last obtained remainder, which is called the most significant digit. We go upwards. We read from downwards, upwards, and we get one 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 zero zero one one base two. Okay, I'm moving on to. We can also convert uh, 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 the numbers in decimal number system to octal uh, number system. We can also convert this decimal number system to binary number system. 
uh, the steps are very similar. The first step we divide the the number with the base uh, with the if we, the, the octal number system is base eight. So when we are converting from decimal number system to octal number system, uh, we divide the dotation by the base eight. And uh, the steps are the same as we uh, as we discussed on uh, converting to binary. And the the remainder the remainder the remainder obtained uh, on the last uh, becomes also the remainder uh, obtained on the last becomes uh, the most significant digit. Then uh, oh sorry. On uh, when we are changing from octal from decimal to octal number system, uh, we do as we as we did on uh, as we as we did on converting uh, decimal to binary number system. But uh, after we uh, after we get the last uh, remainder. Uh, are we together? Hello, are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, we are together. I was saying, as we. Sorry. As I Please said, as I said, if we if if you want to convert uh, uh, decimal number to octal number system, uh, we divide uh, the number by base eight until the quotient uh, obtained becomes zero, and the remainders obtained after each iteration are added to the left of the existing digits. Uh, let us move on also to uh, how can we convert this more of are you still there? Is there no any group one who want to proceed with the, the presentation? No. No. Okay, I'll continue from where Alpha left. It's why no problem. Decimal. When committing decimal to hexa decimal, we take the this is in, in the the decimal which is is two two hundred and forty three less ten to turn it to to exa to, to exa. Decimal we have to to divide it by the exact decimal which is sixteen. So if we divide two hundred and forty three by sixteen, is three and remainder fifteen. So the sixteen is impossible. It's a, Possible to get into 15. So the 15 is the the symbol, which is which is F. So our our answer will be F F3 to this 16. Because we can't write it 15 and 3 by 16. It's impossible. That would be incorrect. And incomplete, so put it as F three S sixteen. Okay, now we go to converting 
binary to to decimal and converting binary to, to decimal here we multiply whereby or given a decimal which we got which is one 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 zero one zero one one base two to base ten so first first of all we have to position every number which each digit which is which is it's the uh, start from behind which is Are we together? Together. 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 Hello. Hello. Are we together? Yeah, together. yeah we are together. We are following. Okay. No, I'm not going to binary, committing binary to decimal. From binary to decimal, now things change. We're not doing the same thing, but we divide. Now we're now multiplying and adding. So first of all, we have to know how to arrange our numbers according to their positions. Whereby well, here, according to our file, we got seven numbers. So we we'll we'll count them from zero up to seven. But well, we say one times two to, to the power seven. Seven is the, is the current position of that number. So we say one times two to the power seven plus one times two to the power six, and we do the same with the same number. Then if we finish, we then do our, our multiplication. So by multiply one times two to the power seven, two to the power seven, which is 128. So about one, 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 128 times one doesn't change, right? We leave it like that. Then we go to the second panel, which you can see 188 plus 64 plus 32 plus 0 plus 6 plus 8, sorry, plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. Then add all of them and we get 2, 235 base 10. That will be the perfect way. There's no other way. This is the only way you can do it. Yes. Now we go we go to the next conversion whereby we convert binary to octa octal. I hear I'm not sure. I'll leave it to someone else. Uh, do we have someone uh, from group one who want to proceed from here? Okay, when you are converting a uh, binary uh, to octal conversion, when, I con when you are converting binary to octal, what you need is to group uh, the binary numbers in a group of threes. You have to group them in a group of threes. And then you convert each and every set of those three digits to its uh, decimal uh, value. And then from there, you take each and every decimal value and then you put them together. That's your number in, uh, that would be your number in base uh, eight. So as you see from uh, give an example, it was uh, triple one zero one zero double one in base two. When you are converting it, uh, I think uh, I'm sure you are actually seeing my screen. 
if you can if you can confirm on that. Okay. Are you seeing my screen that I've shared with you? Yes. 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 All right. It's okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm just doing this while we. Yeah, we're seeing it. Okay, it's okay. So, after putting your own digits in a in a set of threes, just set of threes, then you convert each and every set to either equivalent or decimal value, and then you put the final uh, decimal values together. That will be your uh, base eight. That will be your number or equivalent uh, uh, number in base eight. So you. you didn't get it. Yeah. What you are saying is, uh, you have got uh, your binary number and you want to convert it to base eight. So what you have to do at first, you have to take that given binary number and group it into um, into a set of three numbers, a set of three numbers, just from your right to the left. You have to group them into a set of three numbers. After grouping them into a set of three numbers, you have to take each and every set uh, of three numbers and then convert each and every set to its equivalent decimal number, just like uh, uh, the method that you were being taught here for binary to decimal conversion you have to convert each and every set to base uh, 10. then after that you take each and every value from that set and then you put them together just as they are that will be your number in base 8. i don't know if you get it Hello. Yeah, we can proceed. Yeah. So from binary to hexadecimal, uh, we will do the same, but here uh, you have to group them in a group of four. So you will be grouping them from your right to left, like uh, the given example. I'm sure it's on slide 18. I'm using the slide for group uh, one. Uh, I think you see that uh, you've got a number there which was given in base two that you want to convert to its equivalent value in base 16 or in hexadecimal. That's base 16. So what you have to do is to group them uh, in a set of fours from your right, which means if you go there, uh, it will be uh, 1101 as the first set. Then another one, which will be followed by 0110, followed by 1101, and then there will be uh, triple one. So it's 110, and then there will be a one. And then since it's just a one, uh, one value or one digit, you add zeros at the end so that it will become a set of four if you get it there. So what you have to do later, uh, you have to convert the number to its equivalent decimal value, like you will be converting it to base 10, just using the method of converting binary number to base 10. And then you take each and every value that you get there and uh, put them together. But here you've got a 13 here, so you have to know that 13 is D in the base 16. So I think uh, you have been actually taught that. 
a is um, is 10 then b is 11 c is 12 then 13 is d it will goes up up to f which is 15 so here it will be 1 d 6 d that's the binary to hexadecimal conversion so for binary to octal, you have to group them in a set of three. To bi uh, for binary to hexadecimal, you have to group them in a set of what? Of four. Then you do the same manipulation on converting it to its decimal equivalent value. Then on Is octal, it? hello? Is it? Eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. How do they convert? Those one was to zero zero and zero to one. What? How did they convert the zero into one and the one one to zero? To convert it zero zero. Yeah, on the first one, on the second. Yes. yes. This one, the zero which in which is in red. How did they convert them? You have to add uh, the zeros at the end. Just was the uh, let me see to make them a set of four. Let me see. It was supposed to be what? Uh, one zero one 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 zero one one. Then zero one one zero zero one one zero. And then one zero one one. And then a one here. Okay, so the one uh, that you're asking, which is uh, written in red, those are the zeros that we actually added to one since it was just only one digit. So we, we have to make them four. If you get it. Sir, sir. Yes. Before, before we proceed, I have a question. Yes, you can ask. Okay. Where do we get the 18? 18? Yeah. We, we get 18 when you convert uh those are uh, four binary digits now those four binary digit numbers you have to convert them to base 10 that's when you get that's where you get 13. okay okay uh, uh, one one is zero one to base 10 is 13. okay okay i think i think you can proceed yeah then you do the same to other sets and then you have to put them together just you have to know that 13 is d in a base 16. Okay, okay, so, okay. so I'm sure for for the one who was actually asking about those zeros written in red, I'm sure you get the idea there. So, uh, for octal to decimal conversion, I'm sure this one is just a, a symbol. We do the same as we are doing uh, for binary to base 10, binary to decimal, but here we'll be using uh, base 8. So we have to multiply each and every given number that you want to convert to base uh, 10 by 8 to the power n, where n will be an increasing number from 0 um, up to n. Uh, just from your right, it will be from your right. Like here, you have got uh, 247, for example. Then you'll be multiplying 2 by 8 to the power 2. Then you add to 4 by 8 to the power 1. And then you add to 7 by 8 to the power 0. So it will be an increasing uh, power, which is will be from 0, 1, 2, going up to n. Here, our n is 2. That's the... Uh, largest value there and then uh, you just uh, simplify and then you'll get your number in base 10. don't know if there is any question for octa to decimal
I think uh, I can proceed now for Oktau to Bainar. I think we've done a Bainar to Oktau. Now we want to reverse from Oktau to Bainar. So I think if you go to binary conversion to octal, you know that you are actually putting the numbers in a set of three, the binary digit numbers in a set of three, and then we convert each and every set to base 10 or to decimal. You see, then you will get the equivalent number in octal. So we want now to reverse that. So you only need to take each and every number since we know that uh, each and every digit here is a decimal number, so you have to convert it back to its binary equivalent. And then it must be a set of three at the end. And then you put them together, you get an equivalent binary bits. So for example, you've got a 247, you have to uh, convert to to its binary equivalent, you convert four to its binary equivalent, you convert seven to its binary equivalent, and then you arrange those numbers together, you get your binary equivalent bits. I don't know if there is any question there. I have a question. You can ask if you have a question. Is it the any other method which is better for oh, octal to binary conversion mm. this one is far much better because you you actually just converting each and every number to to binary and then you put them together unless if you want to go from octal to decimal then from decimal to binary it's not only the method but this one is far much better if you get the point, because you'll be actually forced to move from octal, which is base 8, to base 10, and then from decimal, you go to uh, base um, uh, to binary, to base 2. But here you can just go straight from octal to binary by just taking each and every number as the single entity, and then you convert it to its equivalent binary number, and then you group them, just group them it will be your answer. Just like that. I don't know if there is any question. I don't know if there is any question. Okay, I'm sure everyone is seeing my screen. So for octal to hexadecimal, now I want to go from octal Jumping straight uh, to hexadecimal. Here we've got uh, octal to binary and then binary to hexadecimal. Okay, so here the idea is you have to go through uh, the binary. Uh, you have to go through base two from octal to hexadecimal. You have to use that link where you have to convert the octal number to its uh, binary equivalent value, just so, like what we are doing here. Uh, and then after having those uh, three sets of numbers, you have to arrange them, you have your octal number, but we, you will be having the equivalent number in binary or in base two, and then you move from binary to hexadecimal. That's where you will be grouping those numbers into a set of four. I think we've already uh, done this one in, in a set of four, and then you convert them to base 10. Then you get your numbers in what? In hexadecimal. That will be the way to go. You go through base two from octal to hexadecimal. You go through base two. Don't know if there is any question. Any question?
Okay, so okay. I think I can proceed to the next slide. I want to admit someone here. So from hexadecimal to decimal, here you want to move from uh, base 16 to base 10. You just do uh, what you are doing from converting binary to base 10, where you have to multiply each and every number by 16 to the power n. But your n will be an increasing power from 0 up to n. And then it will be from your right to your left. For example, here we have got a 8EB, then 4. Firstly, you have to make sure that you replace those letters by its equivalent numbers. Its decimal number like E is 14 and B is 11. Then from there, you multiply uh, 4 by 16 to the power 0, E to the uh, 11 by 16 to the power 1, then 14 by 16 to the power 2, then 8 by 16 to the power 3. That's why I said n will be an increasing power. And then you add the totals, and then you get your value in base 10. I don't know if there is any question here. Are we still together? Yes, okay. thank you. It's okay. So let's move on to hexadecimal to binary conversion. For hexadecimal uh, to binary conversion, what you have to do is to convert. I think we've uh, done the binary to hexadecimal. What you have to do here, uh, you have to put your number into its equivalent decimal, like uh, replacing the letters by its equivalent decimal numbers. After that, you have to convert each and every number there to its equivalent uh, binary digits or binary, binary bits. I mean, so you have to know how do you convert 11, which is base 10, to binary. You have to divide by 2 until you get uh, to 0, and then you take the remainder going upwards. I think we have already done that uh, with the alpha. And then when you got uh, your binary digits or your binary bits, you can arrange them just following the order they have. And then that will be your answer in base two or in binary. So for hexadecimal to binary, what you need is just to put in the equivalent decimal value and then you convert each and every value. It's very important. You have to convert each and every value to its equivalent binary bits. So it will be B alone, 2 alone, then E alone. Uh, I think that's all there. I think I can move to hexadecimal to octal conversion. So for hexadecimal to octal conversion, you have to go through binary or through base 2. That's the way that you have to go through. So for hexadecimal to binary, I think you've already done this. You have to convert each and every value uh, from its decimal equivalent to its binary bits, to its equivalent binary bits, just like here. And then, just like uh, here, and then from there, you have to convert uh, the binary value to its octal value. And we know how to move from binary to octal. You have to group them in a group of three, or a set of three, and then you convert each and every set to its uh, decimal equivalent value. And then you put them, uh, you don't need to rearrange them, you just put them in their order, just arrange them in their order, and then you get your value in base 8. Uh, I think that's all for number systems. I think uh, group 1 have done their 
uh, job well. Uh, but uh, the network actually tend to do good for them. So I want to say thank you to group one. Also group one members of group one leader. Uh, you have to. Uh, put uh, the. Names in the registration number at the end of this slide or of the presentation and then you send it to me even if I WhatsApp or so, so that I will add you your marks. And uh, yeah, so that I will record them. I want to say thank you for those who all, all were present in this meeting. Is there any question in the floor? Any questions? Now, nah, if we do not have any questions, I think that's the end of our meeting. So thank you. There's, to an, end. There's an end from Maybe Robert. Robert, OK, Robert, you can unmute yourself and then you can unmute yourself. OK, OK, uh, I just want to ask if uh, uh, we are going to or come across my situations or what it may be uh, my numbers and in my fractions then turns it to my converted my binary ah uh, no okay ah uh, pana is also do funga for this ending uh, again uh for this module at uh, number questions i got us i why are you because mainly so I could teach I is for you to understand uh, what the computer uh, actually understand. Uh, OK, so what I want to train you just to think like a computer. OK. I think you must be wondering why we why they do they uh, actually not put the base five. OK, <laughs> it's just because uh, here we don't consider all those base. We've got base five, we've got base seven, we've got base six, but uh, on all computers, say that it is running on the binary, hexadecimal, octal, uh, or hexadecimal. That's why we do all those things. So for floating points or for those with the fractions, what, what, blah, blah, uh, no, we do not consider them here. Yeah, okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Any question? Okay, Andrew, can you animate yourself? Good afternoon, everyone. Not, afternoon, for this, not for this meeting, but if you are not out and Emma groups, I will try to join because some of us take register later. Okay. So, Katina, a group that we belong to, we want to know the group leaders who actually put to choose a good open down group. Okay, thanks. Thanks with your question. Uh, to those who are in here, if you're a group leader, uh, please may you help Andrew. Uh, don't make a short noise up in a group and it even uh, earlier we said we need 20 people per group, but we know that uh, it's actually something which you be go over that number since uh, we've got a lot of people who are registered under this uh, module. So I think uh, for group leaders, uh, better you open your groups for others to join. Uh, I would try by um, all means to make sure that uh, you all get your groups. So for group one, it's now closed. I think uh, <laughs> you can join other groups, uh, group two to nine. Yeah, they are all open. They can take up to 30 people or so. So I will send uh, the list of group leaders in our main group so that you can communicate with them. Anyone with the any challenge with the groups, you communicate with through the group leaders. Uh, I think that's all on that question. Any question?
So if we do not have uh, any question, I think that's all, Tim. Thank you. Just enjoy your day. Thank you. OK, thank you. Yeah, welcome. Thank you.